So yeah, and good job with Nani Bana. Who? Uh, what's his name? Your your podcast with DNA. Yeah, his 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 CTA podcasts are becoming. So first of all, it's not yeah. a podcast. I don't know. It's not a podcast. Let me, you know, the, back in the well, day. What do you want to call it? You let, call it. What do you want to call let, it? Let me, let me tell you this crazy thing. Back in the day, in 2013, uh, around there, yeah. on my Facebook, I did a poll and I said, how many people here listen to podcasts? Mm-hmm. It was 20% listen. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, how many of you have no idea what a podcast is? 50%. <laughs> how many of you uh, don't listen to podcasts? Maybe now the rest, yeah. the 30%. And then guys are like, I'd never, we're never going to ever get to podcasts. I told them, and I wrote there, in three years, all of you would be watching podcasts. So it became an argument in my comment sections. <laughs> when was this again? Uh, 20, 2015, 2015. 2015. Yeah. Now everybody calls these things with mic podcasts. Yeah. yeah. What, what do you call yours? A podcast is an audio version of a long conversation. It is. A podcast is is is... Uh, now Kenyans, when it goes video, they call it podcast. Actually, globally, mm-hmm. when it goes video, because once we have these mics, everybody mm-hmm. considers it a podcast. Mine is an int- intra conversation. It's not an interview. It's not a conver- It's not a pure conversation. If it helps you sleep well, it's, it's okay. an intra conversation. It's like for us. Because in my comments, guys used to piss me off. They're like, "Stop interfering." I'm like, "Bra, you're a fly on the wall. <laughs> I've, I've given you access to a conversation I'm having with uh, this guest." Yeah. I've given you access. I'm not giving you a seat, a seat at the table. Yeah. I'm not interested in your opinion. Yeah. Don't change the way I talk. I don't come to you and I start telling you, we're on gay Ivy. Mm. You get? Yeah. It's it's and it's a very difficult concept for people to understand because when I started, no one was doing it. Mm-hmm. And then number two, people are used to what they know, they want you to do it like that. Yeah. So even when I started shooting people on camera a lot of the ladies would want to dress like the people they've seen on TV, have it be Victoria Robadiri. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, nah, you can come with your sweatshirt. Mm-hmm. What people are interested in is... The, is your story. Is the prime real estate between your two ears. Yeah. Your gold. Mm-hmm. That's value. Yeah. Mm. And people want to listen to guys' experiences about, you know, their journey through life and how they've navigated. Because, you know, we sit over here and we see a star who's done CTA. Mm. And they're used to you on that platform, but then they do not know a lot of your backstory. Like, you know, when, when we're having the conversations, yeah. um, you know, in the previous podcast and guys were like, oh man, I did not know this side about, about the this. faith side. Yes. Yeah. You, you get, they did not know about your backstory and some of the challenges mm. that you had gone through. So now when they watch you on CTA, they have a different appreciation. They're like, man, this brother, uh, Kumbh, man, he's gone through some uh, things. <laughs> uh, although in the comments of, of, of CT, a lot of guys ask me to tell my story because what I did, mm-hmm. remember it's a conversation. So mm-hmm. it's a two-way conversation. Yeah. So it's you're not, it's this not a monologue. If you mm-hmm. want a monologue, go to the person's channel. Yeah. So here I infuse my story mm-hmm. into the person who I'm having a conversation with, especially yeah. where it relates. Yeah. So when DNA, for example, starts talking about the gospel side, mm-hmm. I'm interfering with, into the conversation and being like, no, no, in gospel, this is how it works. Churches yeah. is where you get your audience. Mm-hmm. And, in, and churches don't pay you. And yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. this side was. You guys were used to clubs where you make money from <laughs> entrance. Yeah. But then at the same time, with, with, with the gospel side, you get accessibility to, to schools where it's, you guys never used to get. Yeah. It. It's a little bit different, yeah, like, you know, how it works in the, in the gospel circles. And I think that that's one of, sometimes I find that that's one of the struggles that guys who are not, um, who've become new believers, you know, new yeah. Christians, and they're transitioning from like, um, you know, let's let's call it a secular music industry. Mm. And now they've come into the gospel music space and they're like, okay, I cannot this, you know, the is the math is not mathing. And, it, and and let me say this most. Yeah. If the math doesn't math, people will leave. Mm-hmm. So the church has to adjust. Yeah. The church has to readjust. They have to make the math math. Mm-hmm. Math makes sense. They mm-hmm. have people, if if my calling is to be a rapper, mm-hmm. this thing has to make financial sense to me. I don't expect you to play me, pay me the same as a club. Yeah. But churches have to start paying. Yeah. It, it can't always be service in the in in the basis of service. Uh, so the the musician is playing guitars the whole Sunday, mm-hmm. Saturdays. He has to be a practice. Yeah. He's not doing gigs. Yeah. To do this. Yeah. So I think I was I was in a transition. I luckily through the people who I entered, mm-hmm. you, uh, Kanji, you taught me how, and also let me also say God. Mm-hmm. God for me, my calling was very clear. So. Uh, I was I was 
not expecting the finances to come in that sense. Mm-hmm. I was just in faith. Mm-hmm. Um doing what I was doing and in the process of doing it mm-hmm. God then in the process of serving mm-hmm. in church yeah. in the process of serving with Cake Room yeah God brought for me crazy revenue streams mm-hmm. crazy insane for example I used to service lead at Mavuno mm-hmm. but in the audience there are people who have TV shows there are people who have uh, companies yeah. so they start seeing I like the way this guy talks let me call him to be the host of a TV show mm-hmm. that's how I joined get lifted mm-hmm. Oh no no that's how I joined the Bible trivia show I didn't even know a, a thing about it that's how I became the Groove Award MC mm-hmm. I remember yeah you yeah did you that. get mm-hmm. and now those gigs I would get paid yeah but I was not getting paid to service lead that was my service yeah um so you can't be in this gospel music industry mm-hmm. without faith it doesn't operate like this it, money I really like what you said money and imani yes it doesn't gospel doesn't operate like that it it will spit you out completely and you know the it's it's an expectation that people come with and you get into this into this gospel music industry and you're like you know I'm going to make it you know it's my lifeline mm. and um and it's not it's not bad desiring to make resources or finances from it you know because it's it's the tool of trade that you have mm. um and there's something that you touched on just now which I think is quite deep you know that when you you knew your purpose when you're getting you knew what god had called you towards mm. so anyone who's getting into this space had better know that this is what god has called them towards yep that's the foundation because if you come and who may tuma then it's going to be it's going to be a problem mm. unaona remember i'm already telling you mm-hmm. my first song that i'm writing god is tell me go when i say go flow mm-hmm. when i say so mm-hmm. stop when i say no mm-hmm. now stopping is even different how did i stop music yeah you get how yeah. did i end up stopping I, it's very interesting. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. I ended up stopping because because God said stop. Yeah. Was it hard for you to stop? No, very strangely. So, part of what had happened, CTA started. Mm-hmm. So, how CTA started is yeah, when I go to Benin, mm-hmm. CTA started in very many different things happening. And CTA is not this thing that this podcast that I do called called uh, CTA. Yeah. CTA is not a podcast. CTA that first of all what people watch is called the playhouse. Mm-hmm. There's also another one still under that called the diaspora series. But you haven't you haven't called it the playhouse though. Yeah, I, I do. I call it the playhouse. Okay. If But you go check all the CTA, videos. Yeah. I say welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the playhouse featuring. But guys just remember the CTA because yeah. it sits on that channel. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Look at CTA, think the of the branding how you how you positioned it. Think of the playhouse mm-hmm. as a show on, on a media house. Mm. You get yeah. so CTA is a media house, okay. and there are going to be very many different shows. Mm-hmm. I have, hey, so there's what we're experiencing right now. Yes, the playhouse. Yes, but mm-hmm. you've just I've just touched on I've just remembered something and how. But let me start with how CTA came to be. Yeah. So let's no let's start with how you stopped. Yes, but I, I can't. To CTA. I can't stop without telling you about CTA. Okay. You get because mm-hmm. CTA started in 2008. Mm-hmm. So first things first, Kanji asks me. Would you rather be Michael Jackson or Ted Turner? Me I was my aim was to be Jay-Z. Like as a rapper, I was like I'm going to be the biggest rapper because imagine how many guys I can preach to in an audience. I'm laughing. It's funny that Kanji is asking you don't to be a Ted Turner or an MJ. Yes. And you're telling him I want to be Jay-Z. No, but in that sense I was like of course I want to be Michael Jackson because yeah. in my dreams I was like I'm going to be the biggest rapper mm-hmm. in the world and I'll have people and I'll be preaching to them. Yeah. So he tells me, so first seed ever. He tells me go research on Ted Turner. Mm-hmm. I had no idea who Ted Turner was. Yeah. So I do a, I research and it blew my mind. This guy yeah is the guy who started CNN. Yep. Now CNN before that TV had never been 20 news had never been 24 hours. Mm-hmm. News was at a time. Mm-hmm. But here's a crazy thing. At the day he was launching CNN he says and go and watch this clip it's on Oprah's thing. Mm-hmm. He says today we go live. Uh, he did an interview with Oprah he says today and then like, they actually put this foot, footage he says today we go live and we are never going to stop until the day Jesus comes back and in fact when Jesus comes back we're going to play this song glory 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 whatever i was like what wow that yeah. is mind blowing and this was i think in the early 80s or late 70s yes yeah. so me i'm watching i'm watching this clip now in 2008 mm-hmm. i'm like whoa that is so deep so that's the first time it hits me because mm-hmm. i was like cnn was forming when we think of an 
on an, an, a young child with flies on them and mm. a big protruded stomach kwasha ko that picture is been painted to you by cnn mm-hmm. you didn't just pick it out of anywhere yeah. and the west think that that's how africa is and you mm-hmm. can't blame them because that's the only picture they've been painted yeah. so point number one. so i'm like hmm. kanji 15000 had been given via marina's church to kanji mm-hmm. and kanji had come and asked me to do my second album mm-hmm. kumbe kanji all this time is inceptioning me mm-hmm. uh, he's like i'm going to find your second album you're going to be good i'm like sweet <laughs> so at this same time i go for Now the Cora Awards. The, Cora. the story that I told you before was not the Cora Awards. It was a live recording for the Cora Awards. Mm-hmm. That live recording was going to be, for the for the nominees yeah. was going to be played across the whole of Africa. Yeah. And people would vote and then now we come for the Cora Awards. Mm-hmm. So I go for the Cora Awards and I'm just like, "Oh, I'm about to win a million shillings, a million dollars." A million dollars. I was so sure. I was like, "This $15,000 of Kanji is cheap change. <laughs> God's got plan for a brother." <laughs> You will give him back his 15k yeah, and, and, change, and, and remain and let me bless you with, with a mansion. <laughs> <laughs> so the craziest thing happens. Uh-huh. So we we as part of you know the other, before the the awards mm-hmm. the, maybe the awards are in two days we are there we are taken to go and see a king. Yeah. And I'm like my gift has brought me before a king like hey, le, le, mama. There's some even kiddos who are who are like on the ground next to him like his girl was a king. So I'm like I have to tell guys I spoke to a king. I'll even send you that photo. Yeah. So I stand up. He reminded me of coming to America. Yeah, it was like that oh, guy. <laughs> I was like, man. So I I stand up and I'm like, excuse me Mr. King, like what are you doing to prevent negative French music hip hop from entering your country and affecting? Mm-hmm. And he's like, that's a that's a very good question. Now we are having a 30 minute conversation because it's actually 15 minutes but because of the translator. Yeah. It's just back and forth back and forth. Yeah, it takes longer. So I'm like that is so deep. I'm like, "Whoa, I like that question that asked." So I go back to the room. Mm-hmm. Now when I'm in the room, mm-hmm. the guy comes, the manager comes to me like, "P square is supposed to go meet the president tomorrow." Mm-hmm. But because you are they are not yet here, I'm mm-hmm. going to take you to go and meet the president. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, "Made it." So I go this guy is going to know Jesus. Like this guy, hey, and I'll cock a leo. <laughs> I even I'm shitting in my room I'm like he's guy going to Okoka. <laughs> so I get breakfast. Yeah. With the president and his him president walks in his wife walks in and they're like oh you're a star. Ah wonderful God bless you. Oh wonderful to meet you. Uh, let's pray. Mm-hmm. Before we have breakfast. In the name of Jesus amen. And now <laughs> this is you're going to preach to. For so he saved. Yeah. And now for So even if he was faking the saved or whatever but this so this thing was for me for two hours i have nothing to tell him i'm like my gift has brought me before a king and a president and for two hours i'm like hey shandalia ni noma wow wow is he fox ni ngapi like yeah, you have such a rubbish conversation so i go to my room and i'm just like my god like this is bad did you feel my gift brought me before a king and a president and i had nothing to transfer so i started seeing how religious i've been my gift to bring me before indians mm-hmm. and me i'm not religious just in the sense that passionate about preaching the gospel mm-hmm. but i was linear in one way mm-hmm. you get i only yeah. saw it through you're getting saved you're getting saved you're getting saved mm-hmm. you get so i'm just like hey god something has to change today so god is like okay cool uh i sleep i fall asleep in the middle of the night i have a dream and in the dream Uh hey something crazy happened. I am having a conversation with my 6 year old daughter. Please note at this time I have no kids. I'm not even married. Mm-hmm. I've not even met my wife. Yeah. So I'm having a conversation with my 6 year old daughter. I'm like, "Baby, what do you want to be when you grow up? You can be the president like Obama. Obama had just become the president." Oh yeah, and of course that time is the euphoria. Yes, man. yeah. Yeah. Just become if he had yet even been you know it, the only generation hadn't happened. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you why mm-hmm. because the day the generation was happening that was the same day we were becoming chit chat. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like oh my god like what do you want to be you can be the president like Obama you can be you know the, the, the pre- whatever big dreams she can be a lawyer doctor whatever you want to be. Mm-hmm. And she looks at me she's like daddy when I grow up I want to be a hoe. Don't zip her this time. I'm just telling you the truth. Don't zip my zip. what? I wanted to yeah, yeah. I want so It's now fine. this is in my dream. I'm getting this shock. I want to be like the chicks that I see on TV. I just have to shake my booty and I make money. Wow. You get. I'm like I woke up in a sweat. 
Because this was real for me. In fact, I, I don't think it was a dream. I think it was almost a vision. Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't a vision. It was a dream. So I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I need to start cleaning the airs. I need to clean the airs. I need to clean the airs. And God's like, that's your vision. So CTA. from t- Now please note, I've got $15,000. Mm-hmm. And he has just told me this thing. I've got yeah. two things. So I don't even care about winning the one million. Oh, mm-hmm. actually I do. But, yeah. but I'm like, when I go back, something has to change. So when I come back, I tell mm-hmm. Kanji, it doesn't make sense. Uh, actually, Kanji had already started hinting. You know, you should do something different with this fifteen thousand dollars. So when I come back, I'm like, "You're right, dude. So let's do this. Rather than me just be the only one to excel and and use this and make my album, let mm. us all for one year become a group. Me, the hip hop guys. Yeah. Me, Riga, Mayonde, She, Bupe. Let's become a group. I've forgotten one guy. Michelle. Michelle. Mm-hmm. Let's become a group. Mm-hmm. And then. Let's do 100 high school, 15 university tours. Mm-hmm. But on top of that, let's take artists and mentor them mm-hmm. and just help them understand and be with us as we're doing this tour. Mm-hmm. You know who one of those artists was? Ekodida. Ah. So that Ekodida shot Nikona, oh, yeah. Nikona, Nikona, mm-hmm. Nikona from the $15,000. We paid oh, wow. for him that video. Mm-hmm. We became Chit Chat. Yeah. Hamlesh was under us. Yes. Merak Bakadon's Habi. Sucre yeah, was oh, with that. That time there were a group called Jasmine. Mm-hmm. Of course, Jaya was with us. Mm-hmm. Emoji would come and off and on because yeah. them they already a, a Gina. Mm-hmm. So that's that's, what, the that's the reason why Chichat was born. And we and so Chichat we were sitting down and strategizing it the day Obama was being inaugurated. We're like, mm-hmm. listen, our target is high schoolers. We can't just reach them by shouting Jesus. Mm-hmm. So we need to reach them with pop music. Mm-hmm. But when we do the pop songs, they get excited. We can then do our songs. Yeah. <laughs> Human beings didn't understand chat. What I mean by that, the gospel industry. Yeah. The rest of the guys were trying to reach our target audience. They yeah. got it. We reached them. We mm-hmm. preached the gospel to them. Mm-hmm. But the the people within, even I remember Goi came to see us. That time you even had power radio. Mm-hmm. So I even started, we started doing tours like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I remember we went with you guys to uh, uh, Stare. Yes. Remember we went yep. on a Saturday night. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Actually, we actually went for a whole weekend. It was a, yes, it was, it was a weekend. It was a weekend so I remember when there was a time we, we did it. We came, I, I have even those pictures. The Saturday before me, Michelle and Giuliani came, mm-hmm. on the Sunday, we mm-hmm. now came as, as, the whole as chit-chat. I remember. Yeah. I remember. So for one year. Mm-hmm. So what happened when I started doing this, Mabadi, we called it Mabadiliko. Yeah. Mama, Mama, Mabadiliko. So as we started doing this tour, mm-hmm. because I was like the manager, me yeah. and Joy Washira. Mm-hmm. Were the ones who organizing this thing. Joy, Joy Washira was in Mosan. She was in Kijiji at that time. <laughs> so I started fading out. I was more interested in teaching the artists. Mm-hmm. I moved now to sort of emceeing the gig, and I was less the performer. Yeah, you get what I mean. Wow. And I was I, so that. Feeling, that, was, that was your transition. Now that began my transition to, to, living rap. Yeah. 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 And. Um, when you talk about when you talk about chit chat and how guys didn't understand, I remember you and I had we had an intense call one time. Yeah, do you remember? Yeah, yeah. It was on a Saturday night. Mm. I won't forget because um, I think it's one of the most heated conversations you guys, you yeah. and I have had. I think you even shouted at me. But yeah. you you liked this in the name of Jesus. You are <laughs> not seeing what busy busy blah man. I'm so buzzing, stress free. Guess who's back? No bugging. <laughs> Didi did da brought a few friends along. My 300 chit chat crew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with getting saved? Uh, <laughs> so uh, sweet, buzzing. <laughs> Keep the music coming. <laughs> because so sweet, buzzing, jukabu. They're <laughs> like, what does this have to do with Jesus? <laughs> um, that was my conversation. Because I felt uh, that we had worked, we had worked so hard. You included. Huh? We had all worked so hard. And now you had come with this thing called chit chat. And I'm like, I am, like, I'm a product of music and I've lived in this space. Mm. So my conversation with you was, Richie, tell me about Chit Chat <laughs> because I'm trying to understand yeah. about Chit Chat. I've worked with you. I've worked with Riga. I've worked with my own. I've known us since we were in church together. Yeah. Uh, I've got a chance to be with Michelle in missions. Yes. Like, I've listened to, we've been together through this whole thing and we've listened to the music and I know the testimonies behind mm. and I've seen the power and the impact that you guys have had with your music. And now you guys have this thing that's called chit chat. Mm. That's like on the exact opposite of everything else we've been doing. Yes. You get. (laughs) 
I'm like, it's, in fact, my, my feedback for you was like, I feel, I told you. Um, sell like, out. <laughs> no, I didn't tell you, um, sell out. I told you the shelf life is going to be short. Mm. Unlike the other music. Yes. And you got mad with me because like, Mose, you don't understand the vision behind Chicha. Yes. I was like, help me understand. Help me. <laughs> help me. I was like, so, just help me understand so, this thing. So you first, you're right. The shelf life of that period was only supposed to be a year. In fact, now when you've said it is when it hit me. Chicha was only for a year. Mm -hmm. After a year, we're all supposed to go our separate ways yeah. after the elevation mm -hmm. the Chicha would have given us. Mm -hmm. You get yeah. as one. Number two, Chicha was for mentorship. Mm -hmm. Remember, I was teaching Wakin Ekodida how to hold a mic, how to perform. Ekodida, after he did his second song, Nikona, and then he did In My House. Mm -hmm. Because I used to hang out with him. He mm -hmm. became a millionaire after that. He got picked up on Safaricom Live. Yeah, yeah. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if we hadn't walked with him in this time, that millions would have destroyed him. Yeah. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. number, number two, music, the purpose of the music at this stage mm -hmm. was different. Mm -hmm. It was, music was changing. Mm -hmm. The style of music was changing uh, as things were happening. Music is an arrowhead. Yeah. This just made people relate with us. I remember now we were strictly high schools. Yeah. Forget even university. We were 100 high schools that we were doing. Mm -hmm. um, the music just captured guys in a sense that it was clean, it was fun, but then it would give us a platform now to give our testimony, mm -hmm. to play our old music, yeah. to do all of these things. If I enter that audience and started, in the name of Jesus, ah, guys are like, <laughs> but in fact, I was going to say, that time, Kamula had Shika. Yeah, they had Shika and a good one. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Music was changing. That's what yeah. I mean. You get. The and sound it, was changing. The sound was changing. Yeah. And, and what the thing I kept telling guys is look at our hearts. Mm -hmm. We had no problem with your heart. So, so, yes, yes, but we kept saying... Is this on the heart? Yes. <laughs> that you had picked up the chat. And here's the crazy thing. Uh -huh. This happens every time in, in, in faith. Mm -hmm. The packaging changes. New wine, the Bible says um, you can't put new wine, new wine to, to old wine, wine skins. Skin. Yeah. You get? Mm -hmm. There's a time I was the new wine skin. Mm -hmm. And I was kicking it with close your eyes and that thing. But that place had stopped. The gospel, we were singing... Too many light bulbs in the church and yet the clubs are dark. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, can, you can say bars. Um, you're uh, like, <laughs> don't, don't just, just stare like, like I'll use it. <laughs> I'll use it on my next So movie, that's what it was. Song, yeah. I was singing to the church. Yeah. And me, I was, and it's nice eh, when mm -hmm. you're singing to the church and you're in this space and 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 but you don't want to venture out of this place. And 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 also remember in that season, what I was not understanding mm -hmm. is 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 that season of, of Close Your Eyes was training. Mm -hmm. When I shut down my FOAP, I was so, for my business, FOAP Digital, mm -hmm. after four years, I was so hot. I'm like, God, this is the business I wanted to hand over to my kids. Why did you do this? God says, you don't go to university to stay in university. This was training. <laughs> it was your four years of training. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. like, whoa, that's so deep. That made me calm. Yeah. It's people find, my lesson for this year is the, be the best lesson I've ever learned in my life thus far. It's mm -hmm. called seasons. Mm -hmm. And people find it very hard to transition from a season, especially when the season is good. Yeah. That's why I respect Sauti Soul. I was saying it recently because Sauti Soul have transitioned at the top. Mm -hmm. When they're still at the peak. Yes. People are forced to transition because yeah. of, of situations, pain, circumstances. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that God, the message is always the same. Christ is is is. King. Christ mm -hmm. is Savior, Lord, and King, mm -hmm. not just Savior. Yeah. He died on the cross for you so that you could have eternal life and life in abundance and begin that life in abundance on earth. Mm -hmm. But when this thing starts transitioning from the, from the, and I really liked what Goi asked me. He asked me, you know, I've been doing youth ministry for so long. Mm -hmm. That time Goi was a, was a presenter, even at, 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 at yeah, Power Radio. Power Radio. He was doing the breakfast Yeah, show, and yeah. he asked me, Richie, could God be moving and I've missed it? I just want to know. Oh, wow. I told him, let the fruits show. Mm -hmm. I told him the only thing which can prove us, because I can't logically explain it. Yeah. Just look at the fruits. Look for the fruits. Mm -hmm. And that thing was successful in terms of the fruits, mm -hmm. in terms of the people, the demographic, the age group that we reached mm -hmm. impacted mm -hmm. um, and got to speak Christ with. CTA is the same thing. Yeah. CTA is the same gospel thing mm -hmm. that, I've, that I was doing then from mm -hmm. Close Your Eyes, just packaged differently. Yeah. There's no difference with CTM, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. It's still the same message, just packaged differently. I can interview a devil worshiper on CTA. Mm -hmm. And in that story, you will see God. You mm -hmm. will see Christ. Mm -hmm. There's no one I've interviewed on CTA who, who doesn't. They either say things like, like there's a guy, CB, the Chris, Chris Karaoke, he kept saying, I'm just a lucky guy. 
I'm like, that thing of you're just a lucky. How can you just be lucky? Like, you know, maybe there's a God or something just helping me. Mm-hmm. That alone is enough. Yeah. You get it. Lady Luck, Henry. Lady Luck, Yes, but you see, there are ways you can ask. Even sometimes when you're interviewing people, this season yeah. of CTA is insane. Mm-hmm. People are healing off trauma while seated. Yeah. Like, they're talking about their story. And as they talk, now they are calling me a therapist. I'm mm-hmm. like, bro, me, I'm just talking with you. I mean, but there's healing in that. Yes. There's but healing as people talk. Exactly. And they relieve those moments. And they're like, I went through this, and I'm sorry to cut you no, short. I've gone through this difficult situation in my life. I've never had a chance to be able to vocalize it or be able to, to dig deep. And I thought I was going to die through that season. But man, I made it through. I pulled through and I'm able to sit down and talk about it. And it's like a weight is lifted from their shoulders. How many people holistically, how many people tell their story even once in mm-hmm. life holistically? Very few. Podcast is the first way in which people can sit down yeah. and tell the story from beginning to end from their perspective. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it coming out of their mouths. Yeah. I've never done it, but mm-hmm. even doing the shot that I've done the last time I did this mm-hmm. this part one of this conversation, yeah. I left feeling any way I do believe in this thing. Did things I, become clearer for yeah, you when you look I'm, back and you're like... Let me tell you, I left here saying everything has been worth it. And Enyewe, I am this insane guy. Like, yeah. no, I not <laughs> insane. I left thinking, I am for real, for real, for real. I believe in this faith thing. I don't have another way of living. Mm-hmm. I was watching it. I watched it on Saturday. I, I was listening to myself and I'm like, Haya, for real, for real, for real. This yeah. is not, this is not, I'm not trying to preach. I'm just telling you how I live. Mm-hmm. And Enyewe, I could look and say God has come through. And now I could look and be like, wow. It's because you're looking in hindsight now. Yes. You're having that conversation and because you're speaking it. Yeah, speaking life and death in the power of the tongue. Yeah. And sometimes it's just you. They overcome by the blood of the lamb and the mm-hmm. word of their testimony. Yeah. Why did God bother to put word of the testimony in yeah. that? Yeah. Everybody, I advise it. In fact, what I'm going to do this weekend, I'm, I'm interviewing my daughters. <laughs> interviewing them. Then... I'm going to package it and hide it. Mm-hmm. Then in when they turn 19, or when they I'm going to tell them, watch, watch yourself. Yeah. It's gonna be so ah, it's going to even make me cry because I'm going to learn them. So when were you born? I don't know, maybe four years ago. How old am I? Oh, five. <laughs> I was born <laughs> five, five when I was five years. What do you want to be? Ask them what they like about daddy. You know, the other day my teacher called me two days ago. Hey, it, it blew, I laughed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was like, hey. You're, so part of my, my five-year-old daughter had an assignment yeah. to make gingerbread cookies. Mm-hmm. I know these schools, the way they do some amazing things. You can't, you can't make gingerbread yeah. cookies. So <laughs> so the, in school now, they were saying, so who did you make with? So one of the students was like, yeah, I made with my dad. And we made our gingerbread cookies with my dad, my daughter. She was like, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> my dad, he can't even boil water. <laughs> We are the ones who make for him all his food. My dad, the only thing he does is CTA. CTA, CTA, CTA. But we are going to be so rich because of CTA. <laughs> like, what's a mechoma? But then when I thought about I'm it, I'm like, up here. yeah, I'm like, damn, my kids know what editing is. Yeah, because you do it in the house. Yeah, my kids know what CTA is. Yeah. And now they're asking me, Daddy, why do you do CTA? So I'm explaining to them, why do you do this? So now that's even a hand. They always tell me, come to our school and interview me. Oh, After man. I wrapped at K. Cruz thing, the thing of the, the, the when you brought back the legends. Yeah. Whether you have to do another gig like that. Most. Legends, man. I've been thinking about Please. it. Please. I've been thinking even about it. Even have a section at TSO just for yeah, legends. Yeah. Like three hours. Actually, like seven. Let's bookmark <laughs> this because I'm currently working on TSO. Yeah. It was, it's, it's that thing. Anyway, mm-hmm. after she came in, so that's her first time in her life. She's oh, she's seen, on stage On stage. Me. That's why I came for that show. I came for them to see me. Yeah. So now she went and told the whole school, my dad is a rapper. And during... <laughs> Uh, her, what do you call this thing? During her uh, event, they had mm-hmm. an event in school, an mm-hmm. arts event, yeah. where there were different musicians coming, talking to them, and performing in, in arts. Hey, she told her whole school, me, I'm coming to rap. My dad's coming to rap. Bro, Did you she go? didn't tell the teachers, told nobody. <laughs> I didn't go. Uh, she cried outside bro. there. The teachers came, what are you doing to her? I'm like, me, I've refused to come and rap. But I'm no. going to do it. You need to honor that. Yeah, I'm going to. Actually, I it, felt bad. I was like, yeah. I was so, I was shy of seven-year-olds judging me. 
You can go tell them busy, busy, yeah. blah. <laughs> yeah. Some chit chat would work for them. Man. But no, the, the, in fact, if you if you go to YouTube right now and you read the comments on Close Your Eyes, yeah. she's like, one, I go to the same, do- I get to the same, I'm in the same class as your, as your daughter. Um, I really like this song. Yeah. There's something about Close Your Eyes, Richie. Yeah. But you know, the, 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 the season that we're talking about for, um, for chit chat, and you know, you saying that that was a season for one year. And being an opportunity for you to be able to mentor and mm. to train other guys who are getting into this space. Um, I know for me, I misunderstood what was happening. Mm. But I'm glad that now as you share now, which is like 14 years later. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, we're also still in faith. Yeah. So we're just being obedient to this nudge. I'm being obedient to, I'm not going to to, to do this thing, make my album. We're going to do all of us. Mm-hmm. We sit down. What's the group going to be? Chit chat. In fact, yeah. the reason we call ourselves chit chat is like people will have conversations about our music mm-hmm. in relation to faith. So, for yeah. example, uh, oh, 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 I like your hair. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's me, a key check, Versace check. I put a check in the bank. Check. Now I got cash, glass, Bobby Wamta. But the outside, Let me tell you, but man, the you outside guys brought don't another make the angle. superstar. Yeah. The, 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 the the chain around my neck, my Jesus peace. Mm-hmm. I think the feeling under my chest, my Jesus peace. Mm-hmm. Well, you, know, you see what I mean? Like yeah. there were things that we were infusing just differently. Yeah. I mean, other places, the Jesus peace is different. Yes. In other contexts. Yes. But um, I'll say what you, in hindsight, what you guys were doing, even as I'm listening to you flow some of those lyrics right now, is you were doing something that was completely not being done in the gospel music space. Mm, completely. It was it was brand new. Yeah, completely. And, you know, sometimes, you know, when you come to shake the system, you know, guys are like, hey, what are you doing? Hey, we performed at Groove Awards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in fact, that's why we launched the video for for, for buzzing. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 hey. It was pin drop silence for total confusion. <laughs> total confusion of us. Say, I'm going to shitani kwa this stage. So now it became crazy because I had to be the protector yeah. of my group. You get? I mean, you guys are coming in and you're talking about yeah. now the clothes that you're wearing and the. So guys are asking my own day questions. I have to protect her. Guys are asking she questions. I have to protect her. Guys yeah. are asking Michelle. Luckily, was also ah Michelle. Yeah, was, Michelle is yeah, gangster. Yeah, gangster. <laughs> She's been Riga. Through. We've got to and you know Riga is so nice and polite yeah, and straight. Yeah. We've got to protect him. So we just had each other. Yeah, and Riga man, his song go. Yeah. His song Go had it had a it had a significant impact for me. But anyway, we're not talking about no. Riga. But uh, I you know we can't. Riga for me is is I used to say my favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Hey, bro, this Riga girl is, so not was is is yeah. I I, I, I there's just something this tip for Riga. I don't. He's so good, like he's globally good. Yeah, he Glo- is exactly as you've said. He's globally he's globally good. good. This guy can rap. Sing. He can sing. He can flow in English, Swahili, French. French. Bila kustra. And then he can story tell. Yeah. So like he did Who Am I? I'm like, mm, song is so good. Even me, I need to write a song called Who Am I? Ay, <laughs> 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 riga, riga. Wow. And he still is. Yeah. Yeah. There's a time he did. Um, the bless up. What's the bless up? I mean, the bless up is another thing. We'll come to the bless up. But that song that he did, Sita Baki Kua. I was yeah, like, yeah, man, yeah, we yeah. have our drink. Yeah, exactly. Ah, I was and like, time, yeah. tell me what you want for me. Oh my God. <laughs> so, uh-huh. ha, again, to tell you how the playhouse came to be. Yeah. So, I get this idea. So now I'm marketing, I'm running a business for Up Digital. Yeah. And because I'm running a business, I'm never doing music. Mm-hmm. Actually, me, Riga, and a guy called Nasara. Yeah. We decided to do an album together. Mm-hmm. But because me, I'm who in corporate Kenya, mm-hmm. just working my behind off. Mm-hmm. We didn't get to do it. So I recorded one song called mm-hmm. Cleaning the Airwaves. Mm-hmm. Uh, that song was nice. I flowed. Wow, wow, wow. I killed it on that song. But after that, I was so busy working. Uh-huh. It, I never ended up doing another song. So Kazi. Mm-hmm. But also when I was trying to write, I was struggling. Eh? Yeah, I was be- like, damn, mm-hmm. are my rams are whack. Because you have these other things. Going yeah. On. So, so when I saw, I was like, okay, I need some, an outlet. Mm-hmm. To be to be just expressing my creativity. Yeah. So I said I'm going to do a gig, and that gig will only have 40 people. 
In fact, I said 30 people. Mm -hmm. I'll do it at Sarit, but I'll tell the musician when you come, you play, and then you give the story behind the chords, behind uh, the thingy, behind the behind the story of the yeah. song. So Riga was the first person to do this. Mm -hmm. So when he does this, I'm like, I really enjoyed that. First of all, you're understanding how calculated he was in creating as a producer. Mm -hmm. So after that, I did Chris Adwar. Mm -hmm. Then the third one was going to do Noel Derito. Mm -hmm. So I would only be, and I would film these things. Fuck, if you go on YouTube, you'll find them. Mm -hmm. So I would film this thing. Then the third time, Sarit burnt down. But I realized I was so, I loved the conversation so much. Yeah. Why not just keep doing the conversations? Mm -hmm. So I continued now doing the conversations without the acoustic play. Yeah. But now coming back, I'm going to go back. Like next year, I'm going to go back to that element of doing gigs where people are talking, breaking down the music. Uh, breaking down the lyrics and things like that. You should have me on, man. But also, <laughs> you see, this is another reason why I realized, hey, bro, I can't have you on. What are you going to play? <laughs> well, another thing that I'll do is, you see, I used to you have you guys. Out. Mentorship, I would have you. You see, most I could call you, I could come and sit down with you, I could have conversations. But there's a generation, up after that, I could do the mentorship that that I sort of did, that, mm -hmm. I, that I stopped doing for the industry. Mm -hmm. So I was looking at where the music gospel industry is going and I, and I, and I felt guilty in a sense mm -hmm. where I'm like, Kanji and Mo spent so much time with me, constantly impacting me. Me, have I spent that much time? Fine, you spent the time with Ekodida, Kamlesh and the rest of these guys. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, ah, what about if I record these conversations that I'm having? Mm -hmm. And that's why I say they're a fly on the wall. It's not a diss. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not in the conversation, but they're listening to people, having, two people having a conversation. Mm -hmm. And through that, they're extracting value. So yeah. it's a form of mentorship, mm -hmm. but a digital form of mentorship. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, let's go to let's go to hip hop. I like that. I like how you guys coined it. Hip hop. Yeah. You know, you guys were peddlers of hope. Mm. You know, you know, you're you're a hope dealer. Um, how did that come about? So I joined, me God has told me to be a rapper. I joined Kijiji. Kijiji has accepted me. Before that, there was a rapper in, at Kijiji called Riga. But Riga, oh yeah, Riga was there before me because he's that he had done a song with DNG and Zatena. He had done and Zatena at Kijiji, and mm -hmm. in the process, that's when he got signed. I remember Kanji you telling me he's come across this kid in form three. Uh, exactly, when Riga was a, even, he was a seventeen-year-old. He couldn't even sign his contract. Yeah. So me now, I'm this full-time rapper, mm -hmm. and me, I'm, I had my whole album in my head, sixteen songs. The only other song that I, I didn't have was. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's the only song that Kanji later told me. Just write a song about Jesus. Every other song in my head, mm -hmm. it was already, I had all the lyrics, all the works from, from Kinyasan to Bapo. I'm just practicing. I've got Walkman and I look like a madman just flowing, walking. But, so, so guys, let me just say, when you see guys walking around doing funny things on the streets. Yeah, when I want to practice <laughs> raps out. <laughs> so, uh -huh. so when I joined Kijiji, me, I was, in fact, when I went to them, I said, I'm here to do an album. Mm -hmm. So I had the whole album in my head mm -hmm. after Close Your Eyes. Yeah. So now uh, I started moving so fast, so fast, like recording, recording, releasing, recording. Because yeah, that was my it's job. like you used to live in the studio. Exactly. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was, I was B Black Man made me chill. After I recorded Close Your Eyes, I'm like, okay, let's come tomorrow and record the next one. He made me chill like three months. Wow. Teaching me patience, which was good. Mm -hmm. I hated it at the time, but later on I came to be good. Mm -hmm. So one day Kanji comes and says, uh, by the way, uh, I'm going to do for you a gig. Uh, you're doing a gig next week uh, at Bapo and it's live band. Live band? What wow. is this? Mm -hmm. Who had performed live? No one. They tend, tend not. There was no one performing hip hop, rap, mm -mm. live band. There was no one. Yeah. Guys who of course would do, tsh, ta, do ta, but their songs, their actual songs performing it live, no one was doing. And I'm talking secular mm -hmm. and gospel. Yeah, yeah. No one was performing live. Mm -hmm. So me, Asaf, Aaron was Rumbui was my first band. No, Black Man was there. Yeah. <clears throat> so Kanji throws me and tells me, go to Bapo. So you know, at Bapo, mm -hmm. hey, it's such a good throwdown. Mm -hmm. So he's like, now, uh, Giuliani had come to perform one song. Mm -hmm. So I do hip hop. Yeah. Kijiji Records presents hip hop yeah. featuring a star. Mm -hmm. So now in that time, within the four months after that, Giuliani has come, he's joined. Mm -hmm. Riga now has come back from, he used to fly out a lot, he's come back. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, let's continue. But we say, this time, let's call it the DJ joins the band. Because mm -hmm. we had seen that thing with DJ Rick yes. playing on Jibukilio and we liked it. Mm -hmm. And we said the DJ joins the band. Mm -hmm. So the second one, 
Moz joins the band. <laughs> Moz becomes our DJ. Is that the one that we did at um, Bapo Hul- still? Oh, Bapo still. Still Bapo. Mm-hmm. But this time there are three rappers. Hey, I'll even send you these photos. I have them Please behind. Please do. I have, oh, you know, I got a drive mm-hmm. of photos like 10 GB from that era. Everything fast Friday from David Courier. Fast oh, wow. Fridays, all the hip hop. So I have all these pictures in high res. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so we perform that. And this time, uh, it's more like Riga's gig. Yeah. Then now we we now now it started becoming a, then Michelle was in the audience. Yeah. Now Michelle joins. So we do another one. Now now Bapo becomes too small. So yeah. now we are going to town. Mm-hmm. Woman joins the band. We, we did hip hop ID. We did hey, it started becoming crazy. Yeah. Hip hop ID is the one that you did in South Sea. Hip hop ID we did. Fungamano. No, hip hop ID we did at Memorial Park. That's the first time yes. while rapping the Holy Spirit hit us all at one time. I'll never forget. We're just rapping and all of us are just like, Holy Spirit, this right here is the Holy Spirit. And I'm looking at Riga and we're all in a trance. It's like we're in a proper trance with Holy Spirit. It Like we did that thing for like 15 minutes. It was such a powerful moment. I was like, man. So we're performing, we're performing and then suddenly we're just like, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. So... This right here is Holy Spirit. Then Giuliani starts flowing. Giuliani starts, and it's freestyling. Holy Spirit. It was such a moment. I was yeah. just like, even the way I've remembered it now, it's given me goosebumps. Wow. Wow. Another Holy Spirit moment that I remember so strong. Mm-hmm. K Crew, Eldoret, where we're doing the Kafrata, even DNG was yes. there. Yes. There was a moment there, like where it's evident that the Holy Spirit has taken over mm-hmm. what's happening with this music yeah. that we're doing. I remember as you're talking about there were certain moments where we'd intentionally take time. I mean, during those days, I think they were so formative for us. Mm. And, you know, and I think our faith was strengthened during these moments where we didn't have much. We really didn't have much. All of us mm. were all struggling. Yep. But in our struggles, we all brought whatever we could together. Yeah. And, and it was a peaceful struggle. It was a peaceful struggle. That's yeah. that's a good way to look at it. It was difficult, but there's yeah. a peace that God had given us. And peace a joy, that surpasses all understanding. And a joy that he had given us where, yes, we're going through this crazy season, but he is he's carrying us and we we are, we are okay. As in we're like, yeah. it's all good. Yeah. When we see what's happening in the lives of young people, we're all good. And I remember we would have such intentional times of prayer. Remember like every Thursday night, like we would meet in Warokobani mm. mm. and, you know, just think about what are we going to do? You're going to this next school tomorrow. What are we going to leave the students with? Yep. You know, what, what are we, uh, what are we leaving them with at the end of the day that, that's going to carry them beyond the music? Mm. And we spend a lot of time in prayer. And I remember, Seeing guys like Giuliani, man, going on the wall. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember, yeah. The wall between my living room and my yeah. bedroom. And guys just crying, man. Let me tell you some crazy story about Giuliani. Do you know where Kichwa 2 came? It Kichwa came Kichwa 2. It came out of a hip hop. Kichwa 2. Uh-huh. Because Giuliani now, the gig in South Sea. And I'll send you these photos for you mm-hmm. to put them up. The gig in South Sea was Giuliani's, now it was his show. Remember the hip hops all were all different. It was it was time to launch different people. Mm-hmm. So the first one was launching me. Mm-hmm. Then now Riga. Riga uh, but we are all performing still as three of it. Now the one is in, in South Sea was, it was launching Giuliani. Mm-hmm. Now Giuliani had recorded a few couple of songs. Yeah. So Giuliani, exactly. Yeah. Jesus Gnosis. Jesus Gnosis was uh, He's got, he's got, ow, ow. Bendo Quelly. Okay, that's such. Oh, 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 oh. So, so now we were the backup. Yeah. Remember when all of these guys are doing all of these things? Mm-hmm. Remember we did the Awakening, which was Riga's, Riga's album. album. So how the Kichwa 2 came, mm-hmm. Giuliani is performing and the audience goes crazy. And now the track has, has been done. Mm-hmm. Is the, the song is finished, but yeah. the audience is insane. So Giuliani is coming back, shocked by the response of the audience. He's coming now. Back to Blackman was the director. Blackman yeah. told him, Go back and do it. He's like, Ah, uh-uh. he's like, Go back and do it. He's like, Ah, uh-uh. he's now he's just doing his head like this. He's like, Go back and do it. Where and so he goes and he just starts doing that. <laughs> and everybody went insane. Wow. So all these things don't come out of nowhere. DNG's whole career as an MC, yeah. this was this was Akina Lena. Mm-hmm. That's where his, his school, his yeah. school was. Yeah. And that's the importance of service. 
Service is sharpening your skill in the background before mm-hmm. being launched. Mm-hmm. The things that people take for granted. Service is sharpening your skills in the background before being launched. And you want to be launched when you are at a certain level of excellence, yeah. at a certain level of character, mm-hmm. at a certain level of... Humility as well. Humility, maturity also. Yeah. So, so I, I'm saying this in hindsight because I didn't know this then. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking at my path and I'm extremely grateful. Because you're going to be launched. Yeah. Time and chance happens to everybody. Mm-hmm. But when the time happens to you, are you going to take it and be raised a bit more? Yeah. So every time, every season is a new beginning. Yeah. Every season is a new foundation. Yeah. But if you have that mentality, ah, man. I think what you're challenging us is when that time and chance come together, because they will. Yes. Because they will. What state will you be in? Yes. When you meet a king, are you going to be in telling them? So me, I was like, you, are you going to tell, you meet a king, you tell him, oh, by the way, Rusha Mikono Jew. <laughs> so what I did, actually, I said, I was good friends with Pinya. I said, saying, stop playing gospel music of people who don't have visions. Mm-hmm. Now you're telling Pinya. About- I would tell him. Mm-hmm. I'd go around, because Pinya at that time was like one of my best friends. I'd tell Pinya, please don't play music with anybody who does not have a vision. Because mm-hmm. me and I have gotten, because you're making superstars without vision. So yeah. they're just going to buy cars and things like that. Yeah. So guys started coming with uh, tribal, tribalism, car CCC, mm-hmm. uh, uh, make it or make it. Uh, disability make it? is not inability. Yeah. Everybody, because now you're like, you're a channel. You're yeah. a channel of God's resources. Yeah. It's not for you. It's your, your currency flows. It's not, it's not about you. Exactly. You get some crumbs and those crumbs are a lot. Yeah. In fact, they're more than you need. That's amazing. But mm-hmm. you fame and all of these other things is... It's a channel for you to bless others with. Yeah. For you to accomplish your vision. Mm -hmm. So as you, you know, as you narrate your journey and one of the things that people definitely did appreciate from, from part, from part one was they talked a lot about, you know, how they have now come to appreciate faith and be able to look at it from a different perspective, because I think the element of faith came out a lot in the first, in the first podcast, Mm. you know, we were talking about, money you know it's about e-money it's a different currency in god's yeah. kingdom and um people people definitely appreciated that and um but you know they might get to the space where they put you on a pedestal and they're like man hey, this jam of faith man this guy has no he, he has no struggles he struggles with those ones for um he didn't have food to eat or a place to sleep uh yes he had come from a wealthy background but then you know he had gone I, I, I think get, that, you know, <laughs> grace to grass. <laughs> yeah, grace to grass. Yes. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I, I think, yeah, there was this thing I was like, what do we call this thing? You know, I liked it. I thank God for that, man. And um, it's actually the one po- uh, podcast I think that I've actually gone ahead and titled. Oh, the rest nice. of the titling comes from Kate. Um, so uh, I did feel, you know, that this was that kind of story. Mm. It's always from grass to grace. Yeah. You know, but here's, <laughs> it's like it's being flipped the other way around. <laughs> but no, the people who might, you know, who might think, hey, Richie man has been, yes, a guy of faith, but what are the struggles has he had through this journey of faith? And now have you been able to experience that, that like that restoration or where you felt you don't deserve it, uh, God has covered you or you don't deserve it, but God has lifted you even through that you know, you were, you were in Mary clay. Mm. You were definitely going to sink. Mm. This thing was going to sink you, but then God is like, even this now, is my son and I. Imagine now my full-time career is CTA. I'm a YouTuber. That is my job. That's what I wake up to do. Yeah. I'm tired because the last two days I've been shooting CTA. Mm-hmm. Does that sound like a mature thing to do? Does that sound like like it makes perfect least, sense for my daughters. Man. Exactly. <laughs> so now where do nini? I mean, yeah. I shoot YouTube videos. How how does it make you money? Yeah. You get every mm-hmm. time you see me doing a CTA, mm-hmm. um, eighty thousand shillings has left. Mm-hmm. I have to pay the two cameraman. Yeah. May I buy spread? Because guys are sitting with me the whole day. Mm-hmm. I use at least fifteen thousand on breakfast on food. Sorry, my people. Uh, <laughs> Chakula leo. Mwana ni mekuja na yogurt. So, every time, <laughs> let me say 60 to 80,000. Every time you see <laughs> somebody... You think I can't provide you? Ni ni mekuja na yogurt yangu. I'm like you. Mr. Kiyo, nataka maji. I can't cook, mazi, there's a boil too much. 
but you are <laughs> no but so think anyway, about it yeah think about it yeah so where is that money coming from mm. this month i've decided to shoot 16 cts let's even just say i do 10 mm. 10 that's 800k, that's 800K. Mm-hmm. 800k that I just need and that's to do the job mm-hmm. we're not talking about I still need to make revenue for myself yeah I still need to eat mm-hmm. I still need to pay school fees yeah. kids are in international school school and cheap mm-hmm. you get but god's good mm-hmm. let me in fact let me catch myself there god's good god's good because god's got it he's got it because where my kids go to school my wife is a psychologist there mm-hmm. so the amount of fees that i pay for an international it's, school is reduced yeah it's reduced still a lot yeah it's still a lot in fact without god i would not be able to take the kids to that school mm-hmm. you get wow so i'm not seated here i'm still in the same place i'm just trusting god for more and more and more but i've shot how have i managed to shoot every single city mm-hmm. i was shooting a city jana When I was going home I was like god I need to shoot Mr Lenny mm-hmm. and I don't know where the finances are coming from by morning when I'm waking up I had the finances and you may ask how through donations mm-hmm. through merchandise buying which I don't even touch that finances mm-hmm. through guys just there's a guy who I can give an example there's a guy who came to me last week and he's like by the way um god has told me to give you a million shillings which <laughs> so me god has told me to give you a million shillings um you need to keep doing your CT. I'm like oh she has no problem. I was not even I was not even like oh I was just like yeah god's got it. It's so funny my reaction when I was telling my wife she's like why aren't you all over the floor? I'm like but god's got this. Mm-hmm. Like I was expecting this. Mm-hmm. Then the guy comes back he's like okay on top of that I'm going to buy in January I'm going to buy you whatever equipment you want. Wow. So you stop struggling. Yeah, so on top of the million yeah uh, whatever. But on top but now God is a, he's an idea giver. Yeah. So God started teaching me how this thing is going to make finances. Mm-hmm. So CTA will turn me into a multimillionaire. I'm tra- I'm saying this before By it happened. Faith, yeah. I mean even you your, your daughter said it as well. You get to mean. My yes. dad is going to make a I'm lot not of lying money. to you. When you see Mr Beast building wells yeah. coming to fly, how do you think he's doing it? It's from it's from the wealth he's, he's made from uh, YouTube. Exactly. Mm-hmm. CTA is going to make me a multimillionaire and I'm talking about hundreds of millions of shillings. Just remember But I'm saying that now. Yeah. When I'm not sure where the finances for the next I'm asking come. you on camera to remember <laughs> me your kingdom. You get what right? I mean? So why because I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Yeah. It doesn't I'm, make sense. You should see the reaction of my dad with CTA right now. That's just fruits. Like his reaction on CTA is he's he's almost in awe of his son. Not he's almost he's in awe. He can't believe the impact and him is not in awe for my he's just seen the impact it's having he's he's shocked that his friends are watching this thing wow he's shocked that his employees are watching this thing mm-hmm. he's shocked that from the watchman to the guy he's playing golf with mm-hmm. are watching this thing and he's like yani this is my son and they are talking to him from an obsession perspective because him is just entered this city thing the other day mm-hmm. so he's like what on earth is this guy doing <laughs> same thing with my mom yeah the other day when i was driving here Mm-hmm. She was just like you have no idea the impact that this thing is having. You are anointed in this thing. Right? So I've already gotten that approval. You know there's nothing that a man wants to hear. That affirmation. Then from, yeah. this is my son with whom I am well pleased yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine. And that that was a piece that was missing in your life for a long time. Huge, but then let me also say God filled it till by the time I was hearing it from him. God, you know, God filled Imagine. that space. You know it's so it's so funny to say that because when he told me this yesterday I I was happy but I wasn't filled. I was already filled. I was, I was explaining to my wife because I showed her the, the the thing today in the morning when we were dropping the kids to school. And I was and she's like why are you like this? And it just hit me because I was I was I was going to say I was like I was trying to understand it. But I looked for that affirmation for so long <laughs> until I realized that feeling if it never comes I may have a hole for the rest of my life. Yeah. So the person who has to feel this thing is God. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you another deep story. Uh, before I met my wife I was in another relationship and that relationship broke off and it was so it was it was finishing it finished me I so I'm like I need to go for therapy and when I went for therapy I was like yani I don't understand and I was supposed to be I was engaged to this other person mm-hmm. so it was it was hard mm-hmm. so me I was like I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure that this I'm going to fix me in all my ways and I was looking at myself like it has to be me with the problems yeah. you get 
It's always richy with the problems. So it, this one has to be me. So I'm you're like, the one who calls the breakup. Yes, it's always richy. Yeah. You get, I'm the only one who's always going for these altar calls. I'm the only father, mother wounds and dog wounds. Whatever it is. So I'm like, let me go for this thing. Yeah. So I went with an open heart for this uh, therapy. And the therapist told me something I will never forget. She's like, you know, your real mother left you. Because as I said, my mom is not. Uh, your biological yes, mom. Yes, my biological mom left you when you were one stroke two years old. Mm-hmm. And at that time. The nurture from the breast that a child gets is part of the love transfer. Mm-hmm. So this it's not just milk. It's not just milk. It's 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 embrace. It's, in fact, there's, there's there's a YouTube channel I once opened for a lady called Eve's Mama, and she was t- and she's a doula and a midwife. So she taught me about baby baby crow. When a baby is born, still with the umbilical cord, and you put them on the stomach, the baby instinctively knows to crawl to the breast and to start suckling. Go and Google b- breast crawl. It's wow. the most beautiful thing ever. Mm-hmm. And that breast, the, the, the God is so powerful. Like God is in the science of things. The, the mouth on the tit triggers the brain and triggers the release of milk. Before that, the milk is not coming out. Mm-hmm. Like it's all God. Yeah. So now this thing has been released for me. Mm-hmm. And so love for me was always half full. So every Chile I was ever with, Mm -hmm. I was expecting them without me knowing to do two things. One, leave Mm -hmm. because my mom mom left. left. Mm -hmm. And two, my love tank because because my glass is half full. And all my life half full in my head has been full. Mm -hmm. So I would overcompensate, Mm -hmm. which now became toxic. Yeah. So now I leave the therapist and I'm just like, what? I remember it was Coptic. And I walked from Coptic to Kenya Science. And I asked God, Yani, it wasn't my fault to be left at one and a half years old. Mm-hmm. Like, why? Why? Like, why Why was this? And the God tells me, don't worry, I can feel you. Let me feel you right now. And I'm like, okay, feel me. Instantly, I was filled. Instantly. So my cup wow. was filled. Mm-hmm. And this is that cup of wife, mother. It gets filled. The Holy Spirit goes in to fill you. Mm-hmm. So my wife had it the toughest ever because mm-hmm. I knew she was my wife, but I, I wasn't obsessive. Yeah. And I used to tell her, babes, me, I know my head, my head. I used to tell her, I've got head love for you. She's like, what the heck? Tell me. You like, I'm like, and I used to tell her, but my heart is not there. But I realized what I was saying is I don't have that obsession mm-hmm. from clinging on you in a, in a, Repul- not repulsive in a in a in a in a fractured way mm-hmm. because God had filled me. So my wife is the first person in all my history that I've ever dated with a full love tank. Wow. So mm-hmm. going now to my dad, mm-hmm. see how the devil works. It yeah. messes up the family, so it starts messing you. Mm-hmm. So now with my dad, affirmation. This is my son with who I am well pleased. Even mm-hmm. God affirmed Jesus. And if you read the Bible, he affirms it twice. Yeah. People always forget about this second one and go and read your Bible well. When he's coming from into Jerusalem, there is something and he says, this is my son who I'm well pleased with. And people think it's thunder and lightning. Mm-hmm. But it was actually God's word. Mm-hmm. Google it and read it mm-hmm. to show you. I'm reading the Bible with a very different aspect mm-hmm. perspective. Because mm-hmm. God knows you're about to go through a tough time, but I am well pleased with you. Mm-hmm. So I was not going to succeed if this side of my father was not filled. Mm-hmm. So God filled it. Mm-hmm. So by the time my dad is telling me now what he's telling me, yeah. I'm so grateful to hear it. Mm-hmm. But I'm already full. Yeah. Now, this feeling that I'm talking about, this very few people are willing. I remember I've been saved for 18 years. Yeah. God's been chappering me and will continue to chapper me. But I've allowed him to. Yeah. So it's, this feeling is what a lot of people don't get. And I'm not talking about feeling. I'm talking about feeling. Being filled inside. Yeah. Watch CTA. Watch the beginning story of everybody on CTA. Mm-hmm. 80% of them, kuna kashida. Mm-hmm. There's a kasoro coming from parents. Because the devil knows he just needs to hit the father. Yeah. He hits the father, the marriage starts messing up. The kids come into broken things. Yeah. The kids begin forming their ideolo- ideologies. Everything from that basis. Mm-hmm. From the broken perspective. From the broken perspective. Yeah. So it takes, 
you have to understand god the father is more your father than your biological father mm-hmm. and that is no disrespect to the biological father mm-hmm. have a, and and the more you become an adult now i'm the one who teaches my dad things <laughs> imagine i'm the one who teaches him the other day i was telling him dad i can hear what you're saying but so i pulled out a car, golf thing that he won my good dad plays golf pulled out a, a prize and i told him what tell me what you see here and he talked and i see this and this and this and this I said no, I don't. no that's not true mm-hmm. he's like what are you telling me i can't see it here <laughs> my dad is 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 <laughs> animatic when he talks <laughs> so i told him uh-huh. i hear that mm-hmm. but it's not that mm-hmm. like what are you telling me then when i told him okay that's what you see and you're right but i'm also right because i don't see that then i turned it around mm-hmm. yeah i just felt god in heaven tell me tell him yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drop it what i'm just saying is mm-hmm. There is there's a it's funny I think now 18 years old in Christ mm-hmm. and allowing to be molded I am now mature. Mm-hmm. But that maturity is the new baby. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? I mean bro it's, it's a new foundation. If you to look at it from a Kenyan perspective they say you become an adult at 18. Yes. So 18 years of being saved something theory it's not theoretical. Yeah. Theoretical is just a preparation for when the practical comes mm-hmm. for you to have an understanding of of that. Mm-hmm. There's a guy called Jonathan Trailer, mm-hmm. hey, a beautiful gospel musician. Hey, 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 hey. I say go and find that guy. He's mm-hmm. got a song called The Table, mm-hmm. but there's another one he says, "Lord remind me of where is the his his bridge and I'm paraphrasing. Mm-hmm. He just says um as I go through what I'm going through, mm-hmm. Lord remind me mm-hmm. of where I've come from yeah. because that will give me the hope to know that I will get to where it is that I'm supposed to go. Mm-hmm. When you talk about discipline and because now God is your father. Like in what ways have you failed? I mean, you know when the Bible says when you're being um the Lord chastens or he disciplines those yeah. whom he loves. Yep, yep. So in what ways have you seen that? discipline obedience yeah the biggest thing uh, god is interested from a human being on this earth is obedience mm-hmm. so man he's always and it's not through mistakes in fact there are sometimes i used to make so many mistakes and i'm always coming to god to confess mm-hmm. and god would tell me i don't understand i can't i don't understand what you're confessing about And I'm like, like hey, you've messed up and I've messed like, up and I'm coming to say God I'm really sorry I'm really sorry about this and please don't let this block this whatever and God asks I don't know wow. what you're talking about I don't know what you're saying because that's our culture though Yes but, but he's like how... the blood doesn't allow me to see this so the picture that I saw is God asking Jesus what what is this guy saying what is this guy what's what's this guy talking mm-hmm. Jesus is saying just forget this guy like he he's not understood that I am a filter Wow. That you're clothed wow. in the righteousness of Christ. You want to say that again, man? That's you're deep. Clothed in it mm-hmm. that God does not see your mistakes. Mm-hmm. Past, present and future. He does not see it. He will never see it. It is the one thing that God has forgotten. And not even forgotten, he just can't see it. He sees Christ. Mm-hmm. It's why your actions will never get you anywhere. The only thing it's why when people say other religions be good, be a good person, whatever wax can't get you mm-hmm. it's his blood that has always been shed mm-hmm. god in the beginning killed an animal and clothed man mm-hmm. but clothed him with animal skin mm-hmm. and we had to keep killing those animal skins it's Until. why they were selling goats and cows when jesus came to turn over the tables yeah it wasn't those guys weren't doing the wrong thing they were selling their like because you know this is the blood to get us through mm-hmm. and that's like, you know in fact the other day i was thinking about it i'm like you guy that thing was a massacre the amount of animals and cows and blood you that die. would be there it <laughs> would look like proper witchcraft yeah. like if you were to see those things <laughs> elijah uko ju with those animals and bulls yeah you get that thing is no oh, kill that thing kill it. it's not oh it's so nice it was yeah. mayhem yeah get the fattened cow the proper cow the first born cow come let's kill these things mm-hmm. then get seven now get doves get l- r- lambs yeah get, you get it was constantly killing for blood but but the bible said that without the shedding of blood there's no remission of uh-huh. sins but now there's christ yes who has come before christ goes up what does he say when christ resurrects mm-hmm. what does he say to to the lady 
hey, do not touch me mm-hmm. because I have not yet gone, I've not yet ascended to present my blood to the Father. Mm-hmm. Guys don't read the Bible. I need to look that one up. Mm-hmm. They don't. He tells her, do not touch me because mm-hmm. I, for I have not gone up. Mm-hmm. And now this one will get controversial to people. So mm-hmm. it means Jesus died and went down. Mm-hmm. But what does he tell the thief on the cross? He tells mm-hmm. him, today you will be with me in paradise. Mm-hmm. Where was paradise? Paradise was the place where the righteous were held because even they could not ascend without blood. Yeah. So everybody from Adam all the way until the, the thief on the cross, on the cross, nobody went to heaven. Mm-hmm. They went to a holding place. And both thieves didn't go to hell. Or I, I, let me just say that. Mm-hmm. Let me just, I'm not sure where the other guys went. But I know one thief didn't go where one thief <laughs> went. I know that. <laughs> but there's also a story. So all, all mm-hmm. I'm just trying to say here is the blood of Christ mm-hmm. and why we spend so much time on the cross mm-hmm. is everything. It covers all. It covers a multitude of our sins. Yani, that wow, thing. Very, that's very good. And you are clothed in the righteousness of Christ. Mm-hmm. It means you are becoming more Christ-like, even in identity. Mm-hmm. So God is not seeing you. Mm-hmm. He is seeing your big bro. And your yeah. big bro is Jesus. It's yeah. just that Jesus is on the throne. I mean, there's so much that this Bible is teaching me that some of the stuff I'm even scared to stay here because it may confuse people. Mm-hmm. Like, who says we're going to heaven? We'll, we'll, we'll have it in bite-sized pieces. Yeah, but most, who says we're going to heaven? Mm-hmm. Revelations 21. So it talks about a new heaven and a new earth. A new earth. Yeah. This thing here, mm-hmm. and I want guys to see this. Mm-hmm. This is your power. He's talking about his flesh. <laughs> talking about my suit. His body. When you go to space, mm-hmm. you need a suit. Mm-hmm. You need a suit. Otherwise, you can't survive in that condition. Yeah. The suit enables you to survive in that condition. Mm-hmm. The suit is a space suit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but are you the space suit? No. no. It's different. So number two, what is this? Mm-hmm. This is a body. Yeah. A body that allows you to have authority in this world. Mm-hmm. This thing called the body that guys call the flesh. Mm-hmm. This thing is your, hey, it's your power tool. Mm-hmm. It It is where first and foremost your spirit has to reside. It's why even demons were like, can we please enter the pigs? Mm-hmm. Because spirit doesn't just chill around here. Mm-hmm. You get? Yeah. But just to go further and say that this thing, now when you understand the body mm-hmm. and you understand that this body then, first of all, you have to take care of it, which I need to do better of and things like that. But this body now becomes even when Jesus, when God says, let them have dominion. Mm-hmm. Them, he doesn't say us. Mm-hmm. Meaning in this world, I am more powerful. I have more dominion in this world mm-hmm. than God, mm-hmm. in terms of dominion. Mm-hmm. It's why Jesus himself had to come in with a body. Mm-hmm. Follow the protocols. Mm-hmm. But when we die, mm-hmm. we leave this protocol of time. Yeah. Because spirit cannot just exist in this realm. Mm-hmm. You get. But at the end of the day, mm-hmm. Jesus was a whole restoration plan yeah. for earth. Yeah. And earth is the place that's going to be. The Bible does it's, talk about it's I'm not saying heaven doesn't exist. In fact, I'm saying heaven exists more than the world, the mm-hmm. invisible. I was going to say, you know, there's a place in Peter, and I'm going to ask you a question about what he just said. There's a place in Peter where Peter talks about, you know, that the, there'll be a new heaven and a new earth. That yes. they, you know, Even that, you know no the world. heavens will be rolled up. Yes. Like a rag. You get that all things will be made new. Yep. Continues to talk about the same yep. thing in the book of Revelations. So there's definitely going to be a new heaven. This whole thing that we know. Yes. And also when you're talking about how, you know, when you go to space, you need a, dif- a different suit. Yep. So after this life, you'll be given new bodies. You'll be given new bodies, which yep. is what Paul talks about, you know. Bat bodies. Yeah. Mm. In in um Second Corinthians chapter four, it talks about how, you know, this tent will be done and away with. Yep. You know, that the mortal will put on the immortal. Uh, yes. That's what actually it says. Yes. And uh then somewhere else, John says that, you know, or Peter again continues to say, though you have not known him, you've not seen him. Yes. That's Christ. Yet you have loved him. Um, and continues to say that when he comes, you will be like him. Yep. So whatever body that Christ has, um, you know, that we are going to be like him. Yes. So, but there's something that you say, which definitely is controversial. Uh, when you say that in this world, we are, we are more powerful than God, you know, uh, if you don't mind clarifying that a little bit. So we don't leave our uh, listeners or yes, viewers. Yes, hey guys, yes, and blast me. Yeah. So what I mean is, God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit were in a place called nothing. Mm-hmm. And they were at the utmost 
epitome of love, the three of them together. Mm-hmm. So much so that they decided, Yani, we need to continue this love. Mm-hmm. It's like when parents have children, they mm-hmm. create out of love. Mm-hmm. It's not out of deficit. Yeah. Out of love. Mm-hmm. And it becomes a whole new love. So they create this place called the invisible, mm-hmm. which we know as heaven. Mm-hmm. You get. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Mm-hmm. Heaven. First place it was that he created was heaven. Mm-hmm. And he went and he spent a lot of time there. And it was perfection. It was filled with love and filled with his glory. Mm-hmm. You can't remove love away from the glory. Mm-hmm. Glory is not just light that chills. Mm-hmm. It's perfection that mm-hmm. had filled completely the heavens. Mm-hmm. And again, these three beings, not beings, these three, I don't even have the word for them. Mm-hmm decide out of their love to extend their love mm-hmm. extend mm-hmm. but they've finished with the invisible they've taken over the full invisible so they decide to create a place called the visible mm-hmm. and in that visible they which is a lot mm-hmm. galaxies anything that your eyes can see mm-hmm. is a visible stars all of these things those mm-hmm. are in the visible it's mm-hmm. not just that you see in earth alone yeah and they decide to pass on that love when god says let your will be done on in heaven, mm-hmm. let your will be done on earth. earth as it is in heaven. Mm-hmm. If you want to understand God's whole thing, mm-hmm. whole reason for creating human beings and everything, it is in that verse. Mm-hmm. The reason he created us in the physical realm mm-hmm. was to have accessibility to the invisible realm mm-hmm. to tap into what heaven looks like mm-hmm. and reflect that on earth. Mm-hmm. But he created us as his children mm-hmm. at that time. Yeah. To have to bring heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. That's why in the beginning he was communing with Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, God Himself. Mm -hmm. You get it was communion. That's why you see Adam did the most incredible things. How do you think he named the fish in the deep, Mm -hmm. the microscopic thing, all of these things? It's 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 he tapped into something that that as a human, as a perfect being, tapped into that. Yeah. But sin. Mm-hmm. but sin mm-hmm. and sin makes him lose the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now let's come back all oh, fast forward all the way now again to the, to the realm of Jesus. Mm-hmm. You get, mm-hmm. so God, he said, the three of them says, let them have dominion because they're like, us guys are ruling up in here. These guys are, con- are supposed to continue here, but mm-hmm. our sin. And then when I say more powerful, I only mean we get our power from him. Mm-hmm. We're like a moon. Mm-hmm. We reflect light from the sun. Mm-hmm. You get, we mm-hmm. reflect light from the sun. We're a moon. You get so yeah. even this power that I'm talking about, mm-hmm. it's coming from him. Yeah. Until we become him in an mm-hmm. essence. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Yeah. So don't get me twisted. I'm not trying to say at the year, whatever. I just wanted to clarify because you know the guys are going to start but, throwing stones like Sema. Is to say it. Yes, but on the basis of we don't we are sons of God. Yeah. Now, especially after the blood has been shed and the accessibility into the kingdom. Yeah. What do you think the kingdom means? Being grafted into 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 the family grafted yeah. through and I'm talking about the Abrahamic family mm-hmm. you get mm-hmm. which is God's definition of him who are Gentiles not supposed to be to receive this thing yeah but God through his love and his grace and his mercy mm-hmm. and to show us he chose what is the most difficult thing that I can do so that these people know how much I love them mm-hmm. let me kill my son yeah so to give them accessibility yeah. I mean I can talk about this thing for days but but the thing that I'm trying to say is not all of this is for spookiness. Mm-hmm. It's to say now again in 2023, mm-hmm. if you have access, if you are born again, mm-hmm. you are just like Adam. Yeah. You can tap into the spirit of God through prayer, mm-hmm. through faith, mm-hmm. and you can tap into God's chest there and ideas and see glimpses of heaven and you can then reflect them here. Yeah. So while the world is doing something according to the world systems. Because they're tapping into something as well. You get according to the world systems. The mm-hmm. world system is the least of it. So world systems being things like the, And they're systems of operation. Yeah. That's why money is a system of operation. Mm-hmm. When faith is a system of operation. Yeah. Cain. Cain was the first human being who lived without God. Mm-hmm. So he had to figure out how to survive. Remember, everybody else is asking God, what do I do? And God is whatever. But Cain kills his bro and he's kicked out. Mm-hmm. He no longer has this accessibility. So he has to figure out, hey, Nikunoma, how do I survive? Mm-hmm. And he forms a system. Babylon was a system. Mm-hmm. The Romans were a system. The kingdom of Britain is a system. Mm-hmm. You get it's why we operate. In the same yeah. way as a colony, we can go to Prince Charles and say, by the way, Nikubaya, these guys are coming. Can you please help us? And King Charles will be like, no problem. By the way, here, 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 here. The kingdom of God is a system. Yeah. There's um there's a 
but but like unaweza kuwa kwa mlango tu <laughs> and unfortunately <laughs> was a mob wako kwa mlango wamekata kuingia ndani let me tell you in a practicality sense yeah. when i'm interviewing people on ctm mm-hmm. sometimes god gives me questions mm-hmm. judy judy came to ctm mm-hmm. judy abam to us wife yeah. and we're having Nyawera, conversations yeah. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and we're having a conversations and she's talking and she's talking and she's talking and she's talking and in it god says stop send her money mm-hmm. and i like that money that i have is for lunch yeah it's like i got you homie i'm like the money that i have is for lunch mm-hmm. and it's only edge it's like start a fund call it a soft life fund yeah within days we passed a million days she was trying to do something for her mom yes in fact she wasn't even asking she was just it's in her talk conviction happens mm-hmm. so there is this conversation that's happening in the physical yeah. But as the two of you are talking as the two of me I'm happy I'm God is now channeling because I've given him permission he can channel things to yeah. me and he vibes and as he vibes I'm what it comes out but now at that time when he vibes aha the choice is obedience yeah you've had are you going to obey yeah but you're like I only have a G I mean I have 3 Gs which we need to eat with <laughs> you get I've promised myself I'm no longer touching for Lisa <laughs> so mungu sikuelewi so how can I give her a G Yeah. Bro, until now I see the fruits. God is good, man. Obedience. Now not- the second time comes and we now even tell her we're doing we're 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 going for 2 million. Mm-hmm. Judy wrote me an SMS today and t- to just thank me. We are very close to the 2 million and I tell you we are over 1.5. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Man. Big shout. But you see if mm-hmm. you don't listen and start. Yeah. There's something that you've touched that's very key uh, which I think is also a good take out for me and uh, you know uh, i hope also for, there are many things that guys can be able to take out which is this piece called obedience and um christ talking to his disciples he said you know you demonstrate your love for me by your obedience yeah so, so sometimes i say love to god is not l o v e yep. it's spelled o b e y you need to obey What's good James I see you, you can use that one man <laughs> I'll take that one <laughs> Somebody the other day told me if it's his will then it's his bill I'm like taken <laughs> <laughs> And I needed to take that one <laughs> Yeah man if it's his will it's his bill because yeah. yana najua amekuambia man Yes but you're right love yeah. is I mean love is spelled O B E Y Yeah and uh, it's how we demonstrate our love for God so sometimes we're just telling him because love is a verb it's a it's an action it's something that you have to do yes and sometimes when god asks us to do things they may not make sense you know in our carnal minds you know they don't make sense to us yep. and also to people sometimes you tell people uh you know this is what i feel god has laid in my heart and they'll be like your cray cray yeah you know you'll be like joseph trying to tell his brothers you know i had this dream and in my dream you know we were all cutting these sheaves and you know this 11 sheaves bow down to my sheaf yes. and he's like dude what are you trying to say are you, t- are you talking about, about us are you talking about us you know they're like dude you've got to be crazy then he tells them another one is like yeah god this is the dream even and his now, father now the moon and the stars are bowing down they're like even his father asks him yeah. with a condescending tone yeah and his father was a dreamer yes his father so d- he had experienced these things you, you know and so sometimes when you tell people the things that god has laid in your in your heart they may not make sense and they even go to the extent of treating you badly and, and, some, and sometimes you that's ve- your fault yeah and sometimes because be, you yeah. opened your mouth to talk about your dream. but I, let me tell you if joseph had not gone through what he went through like let me tell you man god is a master god is a master planner bro i say god is a is a super strategist remove this piri god that you said yeah he's the strategic planning bro wow, wow so my boy my boy the other say the other day says you know you cannot outplay god in a game of chess ever so the brothers are thinking about how they're going to mess up joseph you know man let's let's kill this guy no don't kill him just throw him in the in the well let's pretend you know let's throw him in the well let's sell him all these pieces that look bad in the eyes of joseph mm-hmm. they were never in joseph's plans but if he did not go through that If you're not going through that difficult journey, he would not have ended up in Egypt. Yep. To the place where he ended up at the very top, but in hindsight. That's why he could say you guys meant it for evil. Yes. 
when the, that's later on when he's getting the revelation. Bro, Let that's me tell the you. only time it makes sense. They say vision makes sense in hindsight. Let me tell you, that thing that you've talked about, Joseph and strategy, that's mm-hmm. where God taught me that he's a strategist. Yeah. Let me give you an example. They throw him in the pit. Mm-hmm. That was God's will. Mm-hmm. Because if they didn't throw him in the pit, those guys would have killed him. Yeah. Because they would be seen the person who they're jealous about. Mm-hmm. So when he's in the pit, they are, he's hidden from them. Mm-hmm. And in that hiding, it's first of all, that's for his protection yeah. that God throws him. And in that hiding, he gives enough time for his great descendants, the Ishmaelites, <laughs> the Arabs, whatever, who are his, from his descendant yeah, of his yeah. great-grandfather. Anyway, to come. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the crazy thing. Now, God says to me, yeah, you think, I'm like, eh, God, is that, is that really strategy? Mm, yeah, okay, <laughs> prove it more. He's like, okay, what prison does the guy end up in? I mean, what? where does he, who ends up buying him? Mm-hmm. Potiphar. Potiphar. Potiphar was, Potiphar and Pharaoh had a relationship mm-hmm. in, in, I've forgotten what it is. He was the chief something for Potiphar. Mm-hmm. Now, why is that important? Mm-hmm. If you are in, if you are in the army mm-hmm. and you commit a crime, mm-hmm. you're not taken to a certain, you're not taken to the normal prison, uh, prison that me and you as citizens are taken to. Mm-hmm. So there's a special prison that he was taken to. Mm-hmm. Now that special prison, when the cup bearer and the other guy did. Yeah, the baker. Were, were, yes, were taken to that same prison because they were, it was the king's prison. Mm-hmm. So Joseph was taken to the king's prison. Mm-hmm. And without that connection, he would have never met the cup bearer. Yeah. The cup bearer sounds like such a, a nobody. Mm-hmm. But he's so influential because he has the presence of the king, but he's not ever allowed to speak. Yeah. His job is just to say, Here's your wine. Today's drink is wine, red wine, and it's from 1919. It's from 2000 BC. <laughs> it is good and strong. So that's been it. marinating for a few. That's all he's supposed yeah. to say. He's none of the wise men. If he, in fact, he opens ever his mouth to give, he's like a bodyguard. Yeah. He's like a, you look at bodyguards for presidents. Mm-hmm. Their job is to protect, not to give ideas and everything. Mm-hmm. But because they're in the presence, they get to hear the mm-hmm. conversation. Now, God is again so strategic. Joseph, in the mix, tries to get himself out. He's like, hey, you guys, don't forget me. Yeah. Tell your peeps. It wasn't God's timing. That was hard. Let me tell you, from the moment those guys came out, the Bible says, two years later, Pharaoh had a dream. Yeah. Bro, it's most I save you today. I tell you, don't forget me. You're gone for two years. Yeah. Two years later, Moses remembers he had a podcast with Richie. <laughs> and he was chilling forever. Yeah. So he comes out. And because that Kabera was in the presence of Pharaoh, mm-hmm. he even, he, he even, and God, remember, dreams don't just come from nowhere. Mm-hmm. That dream, God was saying, it is time. Yeah. People have no idea about the essence and the power of time. I can't even talk about that. That's from mm-hmm. a different thing from yeah. Genesis 1. But that timing was God's timing. Mm-hmm. And therefore, this guy says there's a guy who interpreted dreams. Mm-hmm. And in an instant, this guy goes from being a prisoner, a nobody, to Rigiji. Yeah. To Rigiji, bro. Mm-hmm. But he still got issues. Yeah. He still got bitterness from his pain. Mm-hmm. To the point where he's calling his son to forget. Yeah. Hi to forget. Manasseh means to forget. <laughs> Hi to forget. <laughs> That's dim. <laughs> it's like saying can... I hate black people and then you call your son black. Hi black. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah. Nine years later is when God's plan again is kicking into effect. Yeah. And Joseph is at a crossroads. Now, this has never been about you. Do I retaliate? Do you get over your wounds? Do you get over your drama? Mm-hmm. Or do I find a replacement? Yeah. Because God's will will always be done. Yeah. And to end this, I say there's three people, three ways of doing it. God's will will always be done. Even, even when Jesus says, not your will, but my will be done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, God's not my will, will, but your will be done. Yes. Mm-hmm. What he's really saying, because mm-hmm. everything is always God's will. Yeah. It can either be God's will through Pharaoh, mm-hmm. where you're hard-headed and you don't yield, mm-hmm. but God still uses you for his glory mm-hmm. at your expense. Mm-hmm. It can be Jesus' way. Where Jesus, every second is surrendering. Yeah. Every second of Jesus' life was dying to self. Mm-hmm. Every second of his life. Yeah. Not just that element of the cross. That's even why he tells Peter, bro, stop cutting this guy. Don't you know I can do this and call a whole legion yeah. of angels? Legion means very many people. Yeah. A guard, when he talks about a guard watched over the tomb, it wasn't a wuchi. It was mm-hmm. not nothing less than 12 people. Mm-hmm. A guard, the Roman guard, it was the best guard. Mm-hmm. But... Jesus, from beginning to end, 
constantly yielded. That's how we are supposed to model. Yeah. But there's Joseph. Yeah. Joseph was difficult until he broke down crying with his brothers mm -hmm. and his tongue changed. Yeah. He started telling them, don't worry. I've now realized everything you guys did, it wasn't you, it wasn't your yeah. fault. Because his, his perspective changes completely. Mm -hmm. I was just a messenger. I was just a vessel of God. His dream became a reality yes. at that very point. And that's when his eyes are open and he's like, yeah. oh my gosh. Kumbayani. Exactly. That thing I shared with you like 20 years ago, yep. it's become a reality now. And let me say this, that two things actually come to mind over here. First, God's time is not like our time. First, yep. God does not dwell in the space of time. Yep. You know, he's, so, he's, this, he's inside and outside of time. So let me say, mm -hmm. in heaven, mm -hmm. they're not singing you are Alpha and Omega. That's sin. I mean, <laughs> no, it's, you, it's but eternity, you, yeah. But, but you get what I'm trying to but say. But in our language, we have to, in, in, we express, yes. You know, that's us as expressing our understanding of God who we really can't. Yes. Because that shows how big he is. Yeah. Because what he said, he's beginning and end. Yeah. But God but is not really beginning yeah. and end. You can only say that in the context of where time exists. Yeah. But God is outside time, but he's so wonderful, he can even limit himself into time. I mean, that's what he did with Christ. And that's why he called himself, that's why he says, you can say I'm Alpha and Omega. Yeah. I know the beginning of time, mm -hmm. of this world, mm -hmm. and I know the day I'm coming back. Yeah. That's why the son says, only the father knows. Yeah. So it's not something that we can be able to understand or grasp. But bro, time. 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 So yeah. my, my, my encouragement to I guys actually is... have a song on my album called Time. Let me plug in. Go and check out this song called Time. <laughs> I didn't know what I was singing that age. I'm going to listen to that song again now. You might have to, you might have to rewrite it again. Yeah. So I was going to say, um, so for guys who are listening to us or watching this, uh, that it's important that we know that we have our understanding of time, but God is not in that space of time. Yeah. So for Joseph, probably, and you might have dreams and you're thinking that these things need to happen now. That does not mean it's the same thing in God's kingdom. Bro, David is anointed today. Yeah. How many years later? Like 13 years later, yep. he becomes the king. And even at 13, at 30, Kubaya. he does not become the king of all Israel. Yep. It's just of that Judah. Yep. You know, so um, then the other thing is, the story of Joseph was not about Joseph. It was about the redemption of Israel. It was you, about preserving the way for our restoration. Yeah. And actually, the ultimate story of Joseph is Jesus. Is Jesus. The ultimate story of the whole Old Testament. And I and I would hope that even as our lives are being written down. Because we are living epistles. Yes. We are the new Bible. That's it. Living epistles. Man, book, I'm watching know. the book of Moses. Yeah. Right now. I'm Man. watching it. So woo. And that's where the Holy Spirit dwells in us to guide yeah. us yeah. to rewrite these things. And all of this to say, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make it easy for somebody to understand. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Obedience is hard. Yeah. Obedience is counterculture. Mm -hmm. Remember, there's a different system that this world operates with. Yeah. That has been ingrained with, in us because we're born in this world. Mm -hmm. The only person who can take you out of this world mentally, not physically, I'm not even talking about the physical realm, mm -hmm. is the Holy Spirit and access of him through Christ. Mm -hmm. So what happens now when you're asking about all of this walk and everything? Mm -hmm. Everything in my life, mm -hmm. the last 18 years, mm -hmm. have been mm -hmm. a preparation to get me here. Yeah. Now for the first time this year, mm -hmm is when I can say, now I am being spirit-led. 18 years. Not to say all that's been useless. Yeah. And now, so so what I mean by that is, I'm not, I and, and this is such a double-edged, so, it's a contradiction. Mm -hmm. It's extremely hard, mm -hmm. but it's extremely easy. Yeah. You as a random person come randomly last week to tell you they'll give you a million shillings. Nope. That million shillings has a purpose. It's not for mm -hmm. me to go buy a Benz. Mm -hmm. You get? Mm -hmm. But for me not to want to go and buy a Benz, some mm -hmm. things need to be fixed in my character, yeah. which is my pit, my palace, my everything. I had to have gone through that journey. Yeah. So depending on where you are in that journey, mm -hmm. the way to fast forward your life, because mm -hmm. you don't have to be started on your 40. Mm -hmm. Jesus lived, did this 30 to 33. Yeah. The core is one thing. Mm -hmm. It is receiving Christ, mm -hmm. then... It is what he did when he got baptized. Yeah. Baptism was him saying, I surrender mm -hmm. my will to, to yours. Yeah. 
And that is the beginning of obedience. Obedience is not something good. Obedience is something God. Yeah. Obedience can look mm-hmm. bad in the eyes of people. Extremely bad. Mm-hmm. You get? Mm-hmm. Obedience can be go kill those guys. Mm-hmm. You've seen it in the Old Testament. Yeah. But remember, God knows everything. Mm-hmm. Not here to start explaining him. Yeah. But are you going to at that moment of time obey mm-hmm. or not? And the reason God loves Abraham so much because mm-hmm. God tested him with the hardest thing God had. And Abraham did what? He accepted. And the reason God had so much joy is because Abraham was giving God permission to bring man through that lineage. Yeah, It's why God, Abraham says, do not get a wife from here and here and here and here and here and here. Go to these specific people. The moment you get a wife from here, you're canceling. Yeah, everything. yeah. When we have our part three, ah. this is part two. <laughs> Are you like for me in a new podcast? <laughs> this is for you, man. What's so many I'm here? This should be A stars CTA. <laughs> this I really release, and I like it because you, you're making me articulate it. Articulate it, make, and it's coming from inside. Yeah, I'm not yeah. even. I'm not even. That Bible verse, if you ask me where it is, I have no idea where it is. Yeah. But I've picked the understanding of it. Yeah. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. And the understanding I'm bringing it to be relevant in my life. So be talking here. Be- things are becoming clear. Bro. Things make- are becoming clearer, bro. <laughs> so we have a third one. Uh, we'll talk about... This is like my therapy. Uh, let's bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> my Jesus therapy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about... Um, you know, like um, about your dating and this businesses that you've started, which were all quite successful. And they were all... That's, this is part three. I'm just letting you know. Okay. We're done. Yeah. Wait, let me say something before that. At <laughs> least, just at least to somebody, to one person watching. Because you, you've made me think about this thing and you've, you've made me realize that somebody can pedestal me. Mm-hmm. You get... Uh, don't worry about the it. bar too high. I can't be high at the bar because it's a contradiction to what I'm spitting in my bars. Hey, say it again, please. The bar too high. Mm-hmm. I can't be high. But what they don't see is just the MC trying to be the best me. The bar too high. I can't be high at the bar because mm-hmm. it's a contradiction to what I'm spitting in my bars. Hey, bro. I wrote that song after Pulse put me on the front page. I now forget that. <laughs> Because I was high at the bar. I wasn't high at the bar. <laughs> so one time I wasn't high. <laughs> yes. And they we'll put talk me about in the it. newspaper. We'll talk about it yeah. in the next one. So, man. but I'll end by saying this. Mm-hmm. With Christ, mm-hmm. obedience is possible. Yeah. In fact, let me even wow. be controversial and say, obedience is only able and possible with Christ. That's good. The true version of obedience. That's very true. Because obedience is not doing good. Obedience is doing God's will. That's yeah. why so many good people will come to God and God will be like, sorry, bro. I didn't know you. Yeah. I'm That's done. the fastest one, one hour, 30 minutes of my life. <laughs> Damn. It's been good. Talking is nice. <laughs> Maybe guys can ask for a merchandise, man. Uh, talking is sweet. Let's yeah. talk more. <laughs> About Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thanks, guys. Catch you next week. It's been real. Thanks, Richie. Thanks.